Another question in last night, uh, this one about some hive feeders. Um, I'll just read you the question. I want to start by telling you I appreciate your webpage and all the pictures and info you share. I apologize if I'm wasting your time, but I know you're busy. I run around 100 hives in Idaho <clears throat> and increasing each year. My question I want to ask is about your feeders. I noticed they are one to two gallon pails and a hole in your lid with a plug. Did you buy the feeders or make them? I'm looking for a good cheap feeder to go on top like yours so I can feed at night and after work. I'm assuming they don't take too much when it's cooler, but your feeders are what I'm looking for to make. Any information is appreciated. Thanks for your time, Matt. These hive top feeders are what I use primarily to feed my beehives. I use a combination of pail feeders and open feeding. Um, so I'll show you what I use. It's interesting because uh, this last uh, year or so, uh, questions about my these pail feeders are probably one of the most asked questions I get. And it's interesting, I don't know why they've been around for such a long time, but I think as more and more beekeepers get into the industry, it's probably a matter of uh, not being exposed to all the, uh, the tools that we have available. Um, so I'll show you what I use. This is a uh, two and a half gallon hive top feeder. Um, I buy all my supplies through Bee Made uh, out of Winnipeg. It's just a simple pail, okay, two and a half gallon pail. Uh, it's got a cap so you can fill it up full of syrup and a screen. Now I buy my pails with the screens embedded already. Uh, Bee Made sells these stainless steel screens also separately or they sell the, the big roll so you can cut them whatever. So you'll need an iron like some kind of an iron, you will modify like a, I don't know, a cattle dehorner and you, you could weld a ring onto it or something. So it melds, melts the screen into the plastic, is the idea. But underneath the plastic is two drilled holes, about half inch drilled holes. So the screen's melted over top of those two holes and when you tip the pail upside down, syrup's gonna flow through this screen, right? And when it does that, it creates a suction up on top. Okay, and that suction will hold the syrup in the pail on the surface tension of that screen. So when the suction equalizes out, the screen holds the syrup in. Put this screen over top of your uh, lid, with a, where your lid hole, and the bees will come up and they'll feed through this pail. Bees don't take syrup when it's cold anyways, but when it's cooler, um, they will take this down all the same. They just break cluster and move up and move the syrup down very efficiently. So I like these pails. Uh, just a tip of advice, don't buy black ones. Because we're working on a suction layer up here, um, with the sun and then the cooling at night, so the daytime heating and cooling at night, um, screws around with that pressure barrier in here and it'll, it'll leak a lot quicker. So stick with white so you don't get as much uh, heat absorption through the day. So these pails work very well in the fall and the bees are taking a lot of syrup. The problem with the bigger pail um, is that little suction layer in here. Um, if the bees aren't taking syrup, um, that daytime heating and nighttime cooling will cause that pressure difference and it'll, it'll leak a bit, right? So she's gonna leak a bit if the bees aren't taking it. So you need to use these pails when the bees are taking syrup. So it doesn't work as well in spring because I find these pails are too big. So to solve that problem, what I do is I use one gallon pails, a smaller pail. Basically exactly the same concept, except so we have a, a hole here and it matches this uh, screen plug. Now there's a lot of different ideas here. You could have like a screen over top of that hole and then another separate bung hole or whatever to fill up. But the option I went with was these little screen plugs. So they just, all they did was take, they took a hive top plug and they just embedded a screen into it <clears throat> with two holes in the back. And the important part about this is that little hole in the side. Okay, and I'll show you in a bit. So these smaller gallon pails is what I use in the spring. Uh, you fill it up and you just basically pop the plug in there and then you tip it up upside down over that feeder hole 
and then it gives them a gallon and because it's a smaller pail you don't need as much suction in the pail to hold the syrup in so it holds on the screen a lot easier so you put it over the hive in the spring and if the bees don't want it don't take it it just sits there there's no leaking out of these pails very efficient um, I also like these pails in the spring because I don't need to feed like large amounts of syrup to them but I just want to give them bits and drags of syrup just to flash syrup at them as I try to stimulate that springtime nest so I you know I'll maybe only fill this half full so it helps me uh, and when guys are helping me feed and I say I only want you know half a gallon of syrup on a pail it's much easier to measure half a gallon of syrup in a smaller pail than it is a bigger pail so then my amounts are measured out a lot more easily uh, yeah so so that's tipped upside down the bees go up to the screen and feed on it okay just the same as the other pail um, and the important part I showed you that little hole there so when the pail is being drained down uh, because of the holes in the top there that'll leave you about a half inch rim of syrup they can't access so that little hole in the side just helps drain all the syrup so we can finish it all up so this is what I use uh, in the spring so I use those pails in the spring and I feed them through my covers and I have holes in my covers uh, which I put these plugs as a two inch plug and I have other ones with a half inch plug so I just have a hole in the cover and then I plug the hole with these uh, these plastic plugs, they're, they're not a lot of money. Just put in there nice, nice and easy. So that's the pails I use. Um, I hope I was able to give you the information you're looking for. Um, and I think by the sounds of your question, uh, these pails are exactly what you're looking for. So good luck and let me know how you make out.